collect any Beanie Babies when you were a kid? There was nobody in my family did any of that. We, uh, we avoided the, the Beanie Baby craze. <laughs> Why did you avoid it? I don't know. It didn't seem sustainable. This has always been my company. Company we created together. Why do you have to be so dramatic? I mean, my salary's been reduced 75%. Yeah, I'm just doing what's necessary. You know, running the real actual business over here. When we came across this book that Zach Bissonette wrote about the craze, we were so uh, amazed at how many things we cared about were contained in this story. Um, Beanie Babies are an, an absurd and funny thing that happened. You know, it's insane that people just lost their minds over tiny stuffed animals for three years right. and treated them like gold, but it really serves as this colorful backdrop to a kind of deeper story that we cared a lot about, about uh, the women behind the phenomenon, the female relationship right. to the American dream, what mm -hmm. and who we value culturally, and, and how we sort of got to where we are now. Collect any Beanie Babies when you were a kid, there was nobody in my family did any of that. I knew of people that were collectors and uh, it was definitely in the, the ether back. We uh, we avoided the, the Beanie Baby craze. <laughs> Why did you avoid it? I don't know. It didn't seem sustainable. <laughs> it just kind of seemed trendy. You can see a lot of Beanie Babies on set. Did you bring home any? I mean, what was it like to be buried by the Beanie <laughs> Um, they are, they are really cool. I think we had like 10,000 of them or something on set. You know, I, I did, I brought home a couple for my kids and then we all got a, a special commemorative, um, bear for, we shot in Atlanta. It's a little Atlanta bear and it was like the commemorative, like just for us, um, Beanie Baby. Yeah. Genius is 1% inspiration, 99% presentation. And did you have the opportunity to talk to uh, the family of Warner, maybe talk to Ty? I mean, I tried to I tried to go to his hotel to watch him. I was just going to go right. hang out in the lobby and see if I could see him. <laughs> but I, I, I didn't get it. I never got a chance to do that. Uh, the pandemic struck and I never got a chance to do it. Um, strangely, though, I used to work at the Four Seasons in New York where Ty Warner, I used to be a busboy there. I don't think I ever saw him then. The, the odd thing is, is I used to work for him, um, which is kind of weird. And it didn't even really dawn on me till the other day. Oh yeah, because I had a very illustrious busboy career in New York. And uh, I would go to the finer places to busboy. And I for a week, I worked there. Wow, and 20 years later, you, you portrayed himself. Then I end up being, playing the guy that the, yeah, it's it's very strange, yeah.